Good morning. I feel like it should be earlier. I feel like we slept in, but we didn't. We got it before eight. I went on a run, went to the pharmacy to get Sarah's medicine and to get some stuff for breakfast. Now I'm gonna make breakfast for us and make some of this cool coffee that we got sent to us. New England coffee, New England breakfast blend. Our wake me up blend. So I'm gonna brew this, make Sarah some pancakes because she wants pancakes and then get to editing. I think because my time is back than I thought, I think I'm going to use iMovie today and not Premiere. Because I think I want to get my hair cut too. But we'll see. How are you doing? simply medicine and I've been sitting up. They said that there will, I could have some shoulder pain from the gas that I was filled with well, trying to get out. Do you smoke cigarettes? Yeah. So that's what hurts. Well, the medicine should help though stronger than what I thought it was. Yeah. yeah it's, got, it's got codeine in it. So you might actually go back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm walking to the mailbox because I just finished the vlog. It's uploading now. It should be up any minute. But I got the notification that a box has come and we didn't tell you about two things kind of that we ordered and uh i'm super excited so i brought eve with me but she's taking a pit stop because she hasn't experienced the sun hot sun in a while so i'm letting her bask in it plus the lizards are out and she's going bonkers trying to catch them but she's she hasn't learned that trait yet not to properly catch a mouse or uh not a mouse that's like chicago talk uh catch a, a lizard the mice of Florida. Well, we made it about halfway, and I think the sun and heat is too much for my little furry friend. She had to stop in the shade and take a break. We got some good mail. And I, I knew, we, Sarah and I decided, um, how long ago about this one? Probably like two weeks ago or something. Well, we had talked about getting this item for a while, but we never decided like how or when. And we kind of like, for some reason, came up with like a symbolic reason what we would do and get this merchandise when we hit 2,000 subscribers. And so that happened a couple days ago, so thank you. Um, we're not at like 2,035 or something. Um, but if you have watched our other vlogs, you know that we like to watch Casey Neistat, and we have for a long time, and he's a big influence on the daily vlogging portion, like other accounts like Tim Tracker and other accounts that frequently post but Casey I watch almost every single one of his daily videos yeah. and so we're big fans of him as a person as a family guy his businesses his style when it comes to being a filmmaker director producer but he came with merchandise and so we got as like a pat on our back for getting 2,000 subscribers we got his work harder hoodie work harder hoodie with his little logo on the sleeve and like I think like he's always he always talks about like how hard he works and we've shown you guys over the past couple of weeks like an emphasis on like how we do our work process of all the stuff we do. But we're always looking for ways to work harder for you guys. And the other thing is we decided that we would get the, this other merchandise from another YouTube family but it's more so has to do with my training for the marathon and being more versatile in our in our life. and we decided we would get this when we were doing like the spring cleaning purge of all of our clothes and that would be the bucket list family adventure bands so they're like so obviously it's hot in florida they're good for wrapping around your head for peter for run for peter for running um, he has one that he's been using in hats but it's just not it's not as easy to throw this in the wash, you know, we don't want it to get stained, so they're this nice material to wrap around your head. It could be used um, to wrap like some of even our tech gear and, and bags and stuff. It's They're super versatile. They could be a scarf. They um, they have all really cool patterns, as you can see really quick, and then they all all the money goes to the school yeah. that they started. I had no idea that that was, a, like I knew that these were a thing, I had no idea that the money went to the school they started in, in Nepal until I we looked at ordering them. And these were, it was 55 bucks and like it helps to know that it goes to a good cause, but it's good quality and there's five of them and they're charging 20 bucks for one. So I was like, you can get one for 20 or five for 55. Yeah. 
So we got all of them. The only so we had the whole set except for they had a, like a limited release black one that was super cool, but it's not part of the pack and it's sold out. And they always talk about it comes and goes in like surprise sales. So we'll put the link up here and down below because they have a video explaining. But then I'll put the link down below so you can check out the work that they do um, as a traveling YouTube family or travel travel journalist. If you haven't heard of them, but if you watch our channel, you've probably watched their 30 Days, 30 Stays in Disney. Guys, I happen to just have an allergic reaction to Eve today. <gasps> look at my eye. I took medicine. It's not a bad one where it's already working. But it's enough for it to look weird on the camera. Yeah. She ha it happens like once a month. Yeah. But thanks, Sarah, for all of our goodies. Thank you. I love them. Yeah. So... This is how I'm typically going, to, typically going to wear the adventure bands from Buckleless Family. I love this Gorilla Pod, but I wish it was just a little taller. But what I'm going to do right now, which is what you'll see a quick second of, is um, for the podcast, Park Hopper podcast that Dom and I do, we have been trying something that our friends told us about, which is Patreon, which is like a a Facebook but for supporters so people do pay to support our podcast and you get varying amounts of exclusive content um, so because of that Dom and I have finally created like a better schedule on like con produce content whether it's video or audio just for patrons and I'm gonna record the first one which is called I4 rambles so it's typically the idea is I'm gonna record most of them in the car when I'm driving to or from work on I4 but I'm, I'm just, I'm off Sarah's asleep, so I'm going to record the first one here, and it's about, it's going to be about DBC, so um, if you're interested, I'll put the link somewhere. Um, it's going to be whether you should, why it's good, or why it's not good to buy a DBC, from my personal experience. Um, definitely understand that there are good reasons to buy, and there's definitely good reasons not to buy, um, but I'm going to record it edit it and post it because it's just gonna be a quick like three to five minute thing hopefully we all know how peter rambles go so the idea is for these to be short sweet and super informational hello everybody and welcome to the very first episode of i4 rambles your exclusive mini podcast i just realized i never showed what at the breakfast i made for sarah but i made these um, Mickey Mouse pancakes and we're busting out our pizza pizzazz tonight to make Tim Tracker style even though I say that because a lot of people who watch us watch Tim a lot of people who watch us watch Tim and I know they are big fans but this is what we got because it is from Chicago we lived next to an actual home run in restaurant for about a year or kind of like two years both of our apartments in Chicago were by um, home run in restaurants. So that's what I'm gonna get going. Sarah's sleeping over there. I'll wake her up when she's when this is all ready. Check it out. She's wearing it for the first time. I haven't even worn it yet. Work harder. It's both of ours. It is both of us, because it's both of our YouTubes and we both do awesome work on it. Yeah, we got a, a, a size in between. Yeah, we got a large, because it'll fit both of us. Yeah. How you doing? Good. Resting still? So I had to take a break and she was walking around and sitting at the, at the table a little bit because she was getting restless from resting on this couch. My back hurts from the couch, is that weird? No, it's understandable. But you're doing great. Thanks. You look great. We're going to keep up our Boy Meets World. We're going to turn it back on because we had turned it because I was asleep. Took a nap. Yeah, when Sarah was asleep I snuck on some uh, Bucketless family here. How about I put Boy Meets World back on? And I'll put, I put over here, I moved our Mac out here so I can be working on stuff, like I was editing the podcast and everything, and right now, I have multiple days worth of comments to catch up on. Because I don't know, I think we've touched on a few points, and some people have even realized that uh, right now, for the level of comments we get in the audience we have, there's really, in my eyes, in Sarah's eyes, there's no reason why we shouldn't be able to respond to every single comment because we, we say it a million times, but we do truly appreciate the time anybody gives us to watch our videos because we used to watch a lot more YouTube before we moved here and we know how much of a commitment that is for you all. 
So the, to us, it's like the, the least we can do is at least respond back and try to give keep a narrative between us if you're willing to give us a narrative. So I'm gonna put Boy Meets World back on. She's resting. Keep your fingers crossed that Eve stays resting. And I'm gonna try to knock out some of these comments. Caught up on comments, so thank you for those. Those are amazing comments, amazing uh, messages for us. We really appreciate that. But it is just after midnight. I think I'm gonna grab the two two little two little girlies over here, and we're gonna go to bed. Sarah's been asleep for over an hour and a half now, I think. So she needs it, but she's doing great. So thank you for all the well wishes. And Eve's been asleep for about an hour now, but she keeps just like waking up every 10 minutes and changing the spots like a normal dog does, but. I'm gonna get everything set for the night and then get the two girls and we'll go to sleep. So, thank you again for all the wonderful messages. Thanks for following with these adventures, even though we're not in the parks. That really means a lot to us that we get views. Like, we don't mind, we don't worry about the views, but we appreciate the views and we really value the views, especially when we're not doing something like stereotypically fun for like in the parks or going to the beach or water parks and stuff like that. Stuff that we know people search to go enjoy and look for advice or to see how crowd counts are or what there is to do. So when we get videos out like in Chicago or videos like this where we're just home or doing something that's not typical for us in theme parks, it's really humbling that we still get views on those on those videos. So thank you and it's it's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.